Hey everybody, it's Rebecca with R&R Acres again. Today we're going to install a nucleus colony. Last time, if you follow my YouTube channel there, I did the package bees. This time we're going to do the nucleus. This is about four frames of bees with a laying queen, wax, comb, brood, all in one little box. Great way to start a hive, one of my favorite ways. So one of the things to get started is find a location that works for you. I like tall hive stands here, so I'll be using that. And to gather all your supplies. And in case you can't see the little bees running around, we do have quite a few flying around here today. So I am going to suit up here and get some protection covers on when I stack up my equipment and get us ready to go. Because I want to protect the eyes as much as possible. So we'll see. There we go. I got new gloves today. You can tell I've never used them before. Usually I'm all gooeyed up. So these hot, these colonies came to me last night. So one of the things I did is let them fly all day today. So I've already opened up their entrances. So some of the girls are already out foraging in the direction that I'm going to be putting the new hive. So right now, this is where I want my box. So I'm gonna move their little box and get myself set up. I know I've got four frames in here, so I've set up my box with only six frames inside. Here in South Carolina, we worry about a lot of pests and the heat, so I use a screened bottom board. I have my entrance reducer in place and my Langstroth hive ready to go. So they'll enjoy the new space of their home. One of the things I like to do is pull out some frames and set them aside. This gives me plenty of working area to introduce the new frames, the new brood and new bees into this box. And I'll carefully say hello here. This box was screwed shut, but we'll get it opened up. There we go. So I've got some girls sitting right here on the cover. Bees will walk up. So I'm just going to place this gently up against my hive stand and I'll allow the girls to walk up into the hive at their own leisure. No sense jostling them around. When I look in the box here, I see most of my bees clustered to the center. So I'm gonna start with an outside frame. I'm going to loosen it up gently with my hive tool. Handy, trusty hive tool, good for everything. And these bees, they're barely even flying. They're so gentle. There we go. If I can stay nice and smooth, they won't bother me at all. So I'm carefully sliding the frame up as straight as possible. And I'm looking. This side doesn't have much going on. They're just starting to build wax. This side has little bees all over. And when I look inside the cells, I can see little eggs, all little white grains of rice looking things in the holes, and a little bit of pollen here. I'm looking briefly, I'm not seeing the queen on this frame. See one little drone bee, but that's about it. But I'm also looking, all the wings look solid. Nothing looks wrinkled and um, like a wrinkled up piece of saran wrap. I don't see any varroa mites on here. Nice clean bodies, nice smooth colors. So it's telling me that this is a, so far, a very healthy box of bees. So the, anything with eggs, I'm gonna put towards the center of the box. And I'm gonna look at my next frame. When I put them in here, in their big box, I wanna keep in mind that food goes to the outside edges Babies stay in the middle. So if I'm looking and I see, oh, there's the queen. And I don't know if you can see, but mama's right there. She's hanging out, looking good, solid, beautiful color. I love the light colors there. She's right here. That little girl, she's bigger, her abdomen's larger. 
She's got the shiny thorax, that black spot in the center. She's marching her way up there, pushing everybody out of the way. She's a big bully. <laughs> Since I see her, I know she's going right where the babies are supposed to be. So she's going to go right here in the center. So I know I've got a couple frames of eggs. I know I have a nice looking queen in there. Big, strong. So well, we're off to a good start. Again, nice seeing nice healthy wings. Good food stores in this nucleus colony. Now this frame is mostly capped brood on this side and pretty much capped brood on this side. So this one I can give a little space. So I want them to draw out more wax to lay more eggs. So I'm gonna give them an empty frame of mine here to give them some room to know that their home is bigger. And then I'm gonna slide in this brood frame. And then I'm gonna look at this one. This is the last frame in this box. And this one is an array of pollen. All different colors depending on where they're looking for their food. So this is a food frame. They're just getting it started, new on wax. But I'm gonna put this one towards the outside edges of the box. So I'm gonna give them another frame to build up for babies or for food or nectar, whatever they feel like. Can't argue with a bunch of ladies. But I'm encouraging them to use the entire box. I'll put another empty frame in here. The queen's gonna march around. She might get to a food frame and not go any further, even though there's four or five frames on the other side. We want her to know that there's a nice big box to use. So I've used up all my bee space, put everything nice and even across. I'm looking in my box here. There's not many in here. So I'm going to, with the door side up, allow them to march up into their home. Get my jacket out of the way. Lean that against so they can march up again. I have my inner cover. Gonna put right on top. And then my telescoping top cover will go on top of here. In a few days, I'm going to come out and see how they're doing, and I'm going to install beetle traps and look to see if they need a feeder. Right now, there's a pretty heavy nectar flow going on, so I think they might be okay, uh, but I will check them in three days to see if they are building out new wax or if they're keeping it as is. So guys, this is how I install a nucleus colony. Please feel free to like this video, maybe even subscribe to the channel. And uh, please check out my other social media on Facebook. It's at R and R Acres or hashtag R and R Honey on Instagram.